Hi, welcome back. Uh, after showing you the assessment results of the OPM3 Portugal project, now I'm going to show you the improvement plan for the information systems, uh, which means that the only other organization with less than 100 employers are uh, part of the study. So the improvement plan, so we start with the improvement plan with the governance. Uh, the first one is the definition of the policies describing standardization, measurement, control and continuous improvement for the organizational project management processes and review them as to meet the organization needs. So uh, these are, in fact, these, these best practices is recommended to all the, all the, um, all the, the sectors involved in this study as is the, the primary uh, basis to the, the following, uh, to the remaining processes as is a basis for standardize, measure, control, and, and improve the processes. After that, we have the staff organizational project management with competent resources, establish project manager competency processes, establish strong sponsors, sponsorship, include strategic goals into project objectives, adhere to project management techniques, capture and, and share the lessons learned, and use common project language, facilitate project manager development, provide project management training and provide the continuous training as well. Provide competent OPM resources, customize project management methodology, integrate project management methodology with organizational processes, establish common project management framework, establish organizational project management policies, establish training and development program. Also, establish executive support establish our organizational project management structure, also provide an OPM support office, est estimate template tools established to use across the organization, project management information system is also recommended in the governance, as well as the intellectual capital reuse. Moving on to the portfolio, we, we recommend to standardize a few uh, processes, starting with the identification of the components. Here, the components, we mean the, pro the projects that can be part or are part already the, of the portfolio. So, uh, recommend the after identification also the categorization, evaluation, the selection and the prioritize of those components or projects. Also, the balance of the portfolio is recommended as well as the portfolio authorized components process. Now, for the project management area, starting with the initiation phase, uh, remember that the initiation phase ha has two processes, the project manage the, the developed project charter, as well as identification of stakeholders. For the first one, the project charter, we recommend the full implementation, as well as for the second one. So, standardize, measure, control and improve for developed project charter, as well as for the identification of stakeholders. Now moving on to the planning, planning stage, we have for the project management plan, the first process, which is the a main process, is recommendable to implement the full cycle of the process, which means that standardization, measure, control and improve should be implemented on these organizations for this process. Following the collect requirements, we recommend to standardize and control the collect requirements to complete also the cycle of for this process collection of requirements. After that we have the definition of scope which we recommend to standardize, measure, control. Also to standardize we recommend the WBS structure, the definition of activities, the se their sequence, also the estimation for the activity resources as well as for the estimation of the activity durations. Uh, we have also recommended the standardization of the developed schedule process, standardization of the estimate costs, uh, as well as the measure. To determine the budget, we also recommend the standardization and the measure. Plan quality, we recommend only the standardization, as well as for the developed human resource plan, communication plan, risk management plan, identification risk, Analysis of the risk and risk responses. So, for the area of the risk, we recommend to standardize all the five processes. Uh, at the end of the planning stage, we have recommended the standardization of the project plan procurement process. 
Moving on to the next stage, we have the executing monitoring and control of the project. So for the first process, we have the direct and manage of the project execution. We recommend the, the four stages to be implemented. Standardization, measure, control, and improve. Following the quality assurance, we recommend to standardize and for the processes related with project team, meaning that acquire, develop, and manage project team should be implemented at the, at the stage of standardization. To standardize also the distribute of information. Also to standardize, but not only, standardize, measure, control, and improve the stakeholder expectations process. For integrated change control, also the full cycle, that means that standardization, measure, control, and improve for this process to be implemented. Then the verification of, of the scope should be, in, should be implemented. The standardization, also the measure and control of this process. The, on the control of the scope, also the, the full cycle, the standardization, measure, and control. To control the schedule process, also we recommend to standardize the project control cost process to standardize and to measure and to perform the quality control process to standardize. On the report performance, monitor and control risk processes as well as the project and user procurement process, we recommend the standardization. Now moving on to the closing stage, we have the two, two processes. We have the closed project or phase process and the closed procurement. For the closed procurements, which is not re represented here, it's because that process was already uh, achieved. All the best practices, all the stages were achievable uh, during the assessment. Uh, remaining this process, which we recommend to standardize, measure, control and improve. And with this, I finished my presentation. Thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.